All right, hey Capricorn, so I'm doing a ghosted read to kick off December. And you guys are going to know this is your read by your energy. I'm going to pull a rune first to see kind of what's um, hovering over the dynamic, what um, what clarity, what you're supposed to be shown through this connection coming through here. All right, so you guys are coming through with Uras, Uras, life force, health, and strength. So this connection is coming through um, to bring, I feel, a life force energy to the connection dynamic, um, you know, and most of all strength. All right. So kind of kind of not losing your faith in all of humanity's existence because something shitty's happened to you right now. Um, right. So I'm going to come back and forth to that rune. Let's just get your energy and see who it is I'm talking to. If you guys are new, welcome. Um, don't forget to check your other placements if you guys um, don't resonate with this read. All right. Your energy. Look at this. We have strength coming out again. Control, glory, strength, resilience, um, success moving forward. Um, but feeling the, that blockage, it's almost like you're blocking out the past. This is pa learning from mistakes, learning from failure, learning from procrastination and manifesting, you know, towards a more hopeful future. All right. I feel like what the two of swords is representing is you can't see what's going on with this dynamic right now and you're not going to force it. You're just not going to force it. Um, you know, you can't. So you're just um, gathering that strength to kind of move forward inside of that chariot. You know, maybe it's not to, maybe it's not meant to be right now. Maybe it'll come back through. Right. So let's see the recent past between you and this person. The recent past. So I feel like um, you guys could be seeing 333 a lot, all right? Here's what I'm going to say. I feel like for whoever is whoever I'm talking to on this dynamic, this is somebody from your distant past. And it could be too that, you know, for um, whatever circumstances um, between you and them, um, it, it just never came, it never came through. Um, I'm just kind of looking at this three of wands, like something, so this guy's looking in the distance. It's almost like you guys could be dealing with somebody from a long time ago. A long time ago um, and you're just wondering kind of hoping and wishing if they were ever if they were to ever come back I feel like um, you know I don't get this a lot but I almost feel like this is something I'm um, coming from years ago it you know and it's almost like you you're wondering about this person are we gonna have could it be should it be why is it so deep why am I still hanging on to this connection after all this time all right and I really uh, for some of you I feel like it's gonna be years it could be too that you guys have a deep um, spiritual connection to this person and that's why they've never left your mind space. And I got to tell you, um, for those of you who um, who wonder or have often wondered if, if I'm thinking about this person after all this time, I wonder if they are. I feel like I, I have to tell you, yes, if you've never been able to shake somebody from your mind space, um, most likely they, they've thought about you just as often. All right. The page of cuffs is wondering, um, you know, it, that was probably the love dynamic that you guys had, um, it, talking, conversing, but for whatever circumstances and reason, you guys never got to make it past the page status. Okay. That's why the, the star card showing up in reverse, um, because your wish never got fulfilled with this person. But I feel that this is the, the deep distant path past. All right. I feel like that's where you guys were sitting at in your past. So let's see who this person is. Who is this person? So with the two of coins, um, that's Capricorn energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with the ace of pentacles, and we got all earth energy. So Virgo coming through with the king of pentacles. All right. So, um, who this person is, this is somebody who could be very wealthy, um, uh, taking on a leadership role, somebody who's been very successful in life, um, very abundant. Um, you know, it could also be that this person may have tendencies or show traits of obsession with wealth, um, status and stubborn behavior. Um, I feel like it's the good qualities that are prominent within this person's energy. And it's probably why you're holding on to them. And, um, I really feel a very, very warm way. All right. Um, this person I feel is all about success. They probably have a lot on their plate. Um, the two of uh, pentacles I just feel is, is more about having a lot, a lot of, um, a lot going on when it comes to their life, family, home, work, kids, finances. Um, I see a lot of finances, a lot of material gains with this person. Um, and I feel like that's just why what the coins is representing the material earth energy of this person. 
Um, and I just feel like this person, um, I feel like they could be a uh, very well known. And I know that that's usually represented by the wands energy, but I feel like this person could be, um, in a high position when it comes to the legal state, um, you know, like work in law enforcement, work in somewhere in the public eye, some way, somehow. Um, and I don't know why that's coming to me. You guys might know why, but I just feel like this person has a lot of, uh, it's like whatever they do is right there in the public eye. Um, and I, I don't feel like it's negative energy, but it could, I just feel like this person, um, does a lot. Maybe they do a lot within the community or they're well known within the community. Um, but I just feel like they're, they're, they're a lot. It could be too that you have recently, like if you, this was a childhood thing, you guys have recently kind of cut, you may, you may have relo relocated to this person's hometown or to your old hometown or vice versa. Okay. And that could be what that, that three of wands is representing. Um, so I kind of wanted to say this person from the deep distant past, I do feel like you've ran into them. Um, I really do. All right. So let's just see. Um, I want to see what this person wants you to know. What does this person want you to know? What do they want to tell you? If they have, um, if you guys recently bumped back into each other, um, they left, they left in a haste. Oh, they've been watching you. This person is, is protecting their heart space. Um, they could seem very, very guarded, but I feel like since you guys have bumped into each other or met, re-met each other, I feel like this person may have left in, in a hurry, may have shown you some burnt out, impulsive, unfocused, restless, fast thinking type of energy. All right. The page of swords, those, um, they, they, I've been watching you ever since we ran back into each other. I'm sorry. I left you in a hurry, but ever since um, I left, I, I can't stop thinking about you and you could probably feel that energy. Um, this person also, I feel like for, um, reasons that we may or may not find out through this read, there's a reason why they, they have shown, um, kind of a guarded heart space. All right. Um, I don't feel like you guys, I don't want to say that you guys have had, um, physical contact, like, uh, you know, intercourse or anything like that. Um, maybe some of you guys have, but I almost feel like you guys ran into each other and, and then boom, it's like disconnection, you know, like this person from years ago, um, like the love of your life, the high school sweetheart, whoever it's like, you guys come back through, you meet and this person, you, I almost feel like you guys could have gone out for a drink. You could have gotten together for, um, just a catch up, you know, a little cat, let's catch up. And then, Oh, I, Oh my God, I gotta go. All right. Um, this person's protecting something and, and I feel like they're kind of holding that they're reserving that, but they do want you to know that since you guys have ran into each other, they have been, they've been stalking you. Okay. Maybe social media, but let's see why this person ghosted. Why did they ghost? Why did they ghost the five of cups? Ooh, it's like a flood of emotions coming back from the past. You guys have had a deep connection. You guys have had a deep connection. All right. So here's what I'm going to say. Um, maybe some of you guys did actually have sexual contact with this person. Um, but it's almost, you know, it doesn't have to be, but the reason why they ghosted, I'm, I kind of had a feeling that this, uh, you know, that some appearance was going to be made. It could be that they're um, actually with somebody else. Okay. And I feel like probably kicking up the dust with you stirred a whole bunch of emotions. So whatever reason you guys got separated in the past, um, that flood of emotions comes back through. All right. Um, the two of cups coming through as a soul, the soul dynamic. Um, it's almost like I'm, I'm just kind of feeling this person's energy. Like they have this redesire energy to be with you but i can't you know there's something going on over here um i kind of had a feeling i was going to see a person in this um you know and i don't want to tell you oh they're married hopefully if in i'm not saying that every single connection came through had um, a physical contact but um if you guys did that's definitely one of the reasons why this person left all right and for others of you i just feel like it's kicking up a stir of emotions from the past so i feel like this dynamic could go both ways so if this person shows up again um I'm not going to say go out and accuse them or anything like that, but definitely ask questions and get and re get to know who it is you're dealing with here. All right. So are they coming back? Is this person coming back? We have the Ace of Swords with communication. It's not over with yet. 
All right, the, the dynamic is not over with yet. The Ace of Swords coming through as a new beginning um, in conversation and communication. And I feel like this um, Magician card is just manifesting this back together. So if that's what's on your heart, I'm Spirit saying you can um, ask for the return of this person. Um, but it's important to be clear with this person, um, you know, uh, get the answers that you wish to know from this person as to why maybe they left in a hurry, why you haven't heard from them since. You know what I mean? It's important to ask those questions because you have... Uh, you deserve that that respect and that kindness and that integrity. All right. So use your words. Be that queen of swords energy when this person does come back through. And set clear boundaries where they need to be set. All right. Um, I want some truth. I want some honesty. Um, yes, my my own flood of emotions came back and, and stirred up inside of me. But it still doesn't mean that, um, you know, maybe you guys didn't have closure once before, you know. So let's just see what their intentions are. What are their intentions when they return? This is the next 30 days. So what are their intentions? You guys have had a strong history. You guys have had a strong history. Something really, really strong in the background. All right. Um, I feel like their intentions are probably going to be a lot of it is to clear up whatever happened in the past, whatever transpired in the past. Um, you know, um, you, I'm just looking at this card, like maybe you guys had, um, something that was very, very closed off and, and both of you guys have been holding on to the dynamic of this connection for ages and ages and ages. Um, you go back to that rune, that's life force, you know, and I just kind of see that as something that's kind of kept pumping through both of your guys' veins ever since you met and then disconnected and then remet, you know, with the hermit card coming through, I just feel like this is going to be a confirmation as to this person as to why I kind of went within, why, why I draw back, why I have been withdrawn. And I feel like the Hierophant card coming through is, is just to, t is, is in honesty, I'm going to tell you what's happened and what's been going on with me and whether or not this person's connected with somebody, you know, I feel like their intentions are pure. Um, but from this right here, I can't see where it's going to go. Um, um, past the communication for now. Okay. I feel like they will come back through. I feel like the major arcana is a confirmation, um, but their intentions, I don't feel is to break your heart, but to clarify, um, how they felt about this whole past and, and all of the time, um, between your guys's no contact, you know, um, how hurt they've been. I, I just see it more about pouring my, pouring their heart string, pouring their heart space out to you about how they felt about all things left unsaid. All right, so let's see what your advice is. What is your advice? Your advice for now, focus on yourself. Focus on your own growth. Um, don't look at it as... Um, don't look at it as um, somebody taking advantage of you. Not yet. Okay. There's a lot of uncertain. There's a lot of delusion that's going to be cleared up. And you guys are coming out of that stagnant, that stagnant role. Um, the hangman card coming through in reverse says that you guys have uh, had another little pause. That's going to be, um, you're going to be coming out of that. All right. The page of, of wands is coming through as a new beginning. Um, it's also to kind of discovering the true um, potential of this dynamic, um, the feelings, the deep emotional bond I feel that is kind of flowing through you and this person all right um just focus on you for now don't worry about the outcome it's coming back around you guys all right so let's get some initials and see who we could be talking to this is going to be yours or their first middle or last initials it could be a city a state just however they might resonate with you we have d j N, K, H, and E. All right, Cap, I'm leaving it there. You guys take care.